I want to take you back to the 70s, to the beginnings of my career. I'd been around for about four or five years, working in the fringe, working in political theatre. And I decided to cut free of the companies I'd been in. And of course, I was months and months without work. I didn't have an agent. I didn't know, even know where to look. What was a girl to do? So I worked for someone who ran a sort of painting and decorating interior design business. And I just read this book, The Ragged Trousered Philanthropist, which is about a group of painters and decorators at the turn of the century, 1900s. And I heard, by word of mouth, as I was reading this book, that they were going to do a play of it and that they were auditioning for people. And I thought, how very appropriate that I'm doing this as a job and there's this audition going on. This is a little story in praise of the gatekeepers, the people who we see as our enemies. We see as the rock pilers who are going to stop us getting a job because there's one gatekeeper who changed my life, I think, called Graham Cowley. And he worked at Joint Stock, now out of joint. And he was the gatekeeper for Bill Gaskell, who was quite a fearsome but brilliant director who was doing this project, and because I hadn't gone through an agent, the, the, nas the, the proper route, I was reduced to ringing up every day from a phone box, and, and I put my money in the coin slot. Beep, 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 hello, is that Graham again? Yes, I wonder, is there any news? Is there any chance I can come and audition? And I went on and on like this, and I have never felt so pushy before or since. But I was so determined, I didn't hear anything for two or three weeks. And then suddenly, the gatekeeper rang me up. Now, he didn't need to do that. He rang me up and said, Bill has seen a lot of women. He's not really happy with any of them. He's going to start again. Will you come in next week? I went to meet Bill, dressed up to the nines, which was completely inappropriate for the part. Two days later, I'm with my little gang of painters and decorators, and I get the call and they're in my kitchen and I come down and I say I've got this job and it was after like four months of really thinking I was never going to be an actress so always when you're absolutely rock bottom and you think it's the end of it all you just never know this job you never know what's right